In this video, I'm going to go over how to get started with your digital planner in GoodNotes. Now, there will also be timestamps below in case there's a specific section that you're looking for. You can go ahead and jump right to that section. I'm first going to start by showing you how to import the planner into the GoodNotes app. So you want to first start by selecting download beside your purchase. Once you select that, it's automatically going to go into your download section on your web browser. So in Safari here, you'll see this download icon beside the search bar and you'll see the planner download there. Now it may look different depending on what web browser you're using. So when I click that, it's going to open up the files app. And now with zip files, you do need to unzip them in order to access your planner. To do this, you can simply click it and you'll see beside a folder appears and that has all the planners in it. Now, if you are on a laptop, you would just need to double click the zip folder and then it'll automatically unzip. So we're gonna go ahead and open up that folder and then we can open up a planner. And now when you have the planner open, you want to select the share button here at the top right. When you select that, you can then scroll through your apps until you see the GoodNotes app. Select GoodNotes and then select import as new document. And now it's going to import the planner right into the GoodNotes app. Now it's just gonna take a moment to sync the planner here into the app. And there we go, we now have the planner imported. Now you can also import right from within the GoodNotes app. So to do that, you would want to select new here then import, select wherever you saved your planner file to, so mine's in downloads, open the folder, and then you can select the planner here again and it'll import into GoodNotes. So next I'm gonna show you how to use the hyperlinks within the planner. So to use the hyperlinks, you need the read only button to be off. So when you click this button here at the top right, that looks like a pencil with a slash through it, you can click that and you'll see it changes to a white toolbar here at the top. When there's the white toolbar, you know that you can then click to navigate the planner. So we can click through the different months. You can click on the days to go to the daily page. You can also click to go to the weekly page here with this button and back to the dailies. So you can really easily navigate the planner. Now, every time you want to write, you would go back and select this pencil icon here until the blue toolbar appears. Now you can come over and select the tool you would like to use. So to write, you can select the pen tool here and you can choose your color. You can choose the thickness of your pen. And also when you're writing, you can pinch and zoom. So we can pinch and zoom and then begin writing. You can zoom out. And if you want to erase anything, you have the eraser tool here and just go over that and you can select the size of eraser you would like as well. Now, if you want to highlight anything in your planner, you have the highlighter tool here. And again, you can select the color and go ahead and highlight. Now within GoodNotes, there's also this lasso tool here. And now with this tool, you can draw right around your writing and then you can move your writing. So if you had it on the sixth, let's say, and it moved to the ninth, you can place it there. You can also select it by tapping and then select copy. And if you wanted to bring it over to the next month, you would go to the read only button here. And then we go to the next month and then you can tap and select paste so that you don't have to rewrite it. And you can move it and you can make it the size that you would like. So there are many different tools within GoodNotes that you can use within the planner. Now next, if you wanted to change the cover, you can go into the overview section by clicking this top left button here. Now the other covers are located at the end of the planner. So you can go ahead and scroll right to the bottom and then you can choose the select button here Choose the cover you would like to use, press copy, then press done. And you can scroll up to the very first page of the planner. 
and you want to click this arrow here at the bottom right corner. When you click that, you can then add page before and paste page. Now you have the new cover there. Now with the old cover, you can either bring it to the bottom so that you have it in case you want to use it in the future, or you can delete it by again clicking this arrow here and selecting move to trash. Now, when deleting pages in the planner, it will remove all associated hyperlinks. So definitely double check before you delete any page because if you deleted a page and you then wanted it, you would have to start with a fresh new planner template as all the hyperlinks are removed since the page is gone. So you can delete pages by selecting move to trash or you can also duplicate any page in the planner by selecting the duplicate button. And you'll see here, it now duplicated that exact page. There you go. So now if you wanted to add stickers to the planner, we'll go into one of the pages and go to the month, let's say, say we want to add stickers to the month of May. You can go ahead and select the read only tool again until we have the blue toolbar. And then you'll see the photo button here. You can go ahead and click that photo button. Then you can tap anywhere on the page, select insert from, then you'll see you have your recents here, but you can go back and choose wherever you saved your planner file, file to. So I'm going to go ahead and open the stickers and stickies file, and I'm going to select the sticker sheet. I'm then going to tap it and you'll see the crop button here at the top, select crop, and then you could move the cropping tool here over to the sticker you would like to use, select done. And now you can resize the sticker. You can also change the angle and you can place it anywhere on the page. You can also write on top of the sticky notes too. So that's how you can add stickers into the planner. Okay, so that covers the basics of getting started with digital planning in GoodNotes. Now, if you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message. I'm more than happy to help.